No one is created without a gift. And each gift is meant to meet a need. What is your gift? Your life is a solution. Let someone say, my life is a solution. Every person God created is a solution to someone in trouble. Everything God makes is a solution to a problem. As a Christian, your life is a solution to someone in trouble. You should build your Christian life around this principle. Tell your neighbor, build your Christian life around this principle. Knowing that we serve God when we help our fellow brother. Our position in Christ Jesus is enhanced each time we help our fellow brother. Tell your neighbor, my position in Christ Jesus is enhanced each time I help my fellow brother. Each time I help someone in trouble. My position in Christ Jesus is enhanced. This is what Jesus meant when he said in Matthew 25, verse whatsoever you do or you fail to do to the least of my brothers that you do unto me. In other words, Jesus was saying here, I have no farm where I expect you to work for me. Or an office where I expect you to help me in checking files. My office and farm are your fellow brothers. Tell your neighbor, our life is a solution. If our life is a solution, how many lives are you capable of changing? People want to succeed. People want to improve. People want to change. They don't know how to go about it. We are called to respond to all human needs. Tell your neighbor, I'm called to respond to all human needs. As a Christian, we should see giving to others as an assignment from God. Tell your neighbor, see giving to others as an assignment from God. When you see giving as an assignment, you cannot afford to fail God. Make decisions that will create the future you desire. Those who are under the influence of this telecast, make decisions that will create the future you desire. No one is created 
without a gift. And each gift is meant to meet a need. What is your gift? Whatever is your gift, that is what the law will use to bless others through you. I am a solution to your problem, just as you are to mine. I am because you are, and you are because I am. This is a relationship approved of Jesus. It is not a one-sided affair. You have a role to play. Acts of giving, I mean charity and righteousness by faith in Christ Jesus go together. If one is missed, you miss it all. Discover yourself. You might be sent to a person or a people. Find them and what you have to offer. Tell your neighbor, I might be sent to a person or a people. Find them and what you have to offer. No one is created without a gift. And each gift is meant to meet a need. Tell your neighbor, no one is created without a gift. And each gift is meant to meet a need. How many lives are you capable of changing? Whatever is your gift, that is what the law will use to bless others through you. Moses was sent to a people and Aaron was sent to a person. This means Aaron was a solution to Moses' problem. And Moses was a solution to the people of Israel's problem. Those who are under the influence of this telecast, whatever is your gift, that is what the Lord will use to bless others through you. What is your gift? There are many people on the sick bed in the hospital around you. Go to them, visit them, show your love and compassion, pray with them and pray for them. Who knows? That may be all that is needed for their recovery. Whatever is your gift, that is what the Lord will use to bless others through you. No one is created without a gift. Each gift is meant to meet a need. Many are saying, I have nothing to offer, I have nothing to give, I'm very poor. See you. Let me take you to the book of Exodus 4. Signs for Moses. Moses answered, If they do not believe me or listen to me and say, The Lord did not appear to you. Then the Lord said to him, What is that in your hand? A staff. 
he replied the Lord said throw it on the ground Moses said that he had nothing to convince the people of Israel that he had a solution to their problem God asked him what is that in your hand Moses replied, a walking stick. The Lord instructed him to use it. This means whatever we have in our hands now is a solution sometime, somewhere. Because what we are having now does not solve a problem now or does not solve a problem here does not mean it cannot solve a problem somewhere it does not mean it cannot solve a problem tomorrow our future begins with whatever is in our hands now tell your neighbor my future begins with whatever is in my hands now Jesus taught us that giving is one of the ways to multiply what he has given us. Whatever the Lord has given you now is capable of reproducing. In that book of Luke 6, 38, give and it shall be given back. Good measure. Pressed down. Say, check it together. I can hear you. <laughs> Run you over, 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 over. Jesus looked for those in trouble. That was why he told his disciples that I need to go through Samaritan where he met a woman who had five marriages and failed. Tell your neighbor, look for those in trouble. Your life is a solution to someone in trouble.